Other arms reach out for me Other eyes smile tenderly Still in peaceful dreams I see On the road it leads right back to you The part of Mama Morton came up in the West End production of Chicago. A pal in the business knew the director, mentioned me to the director. He knew my albums, auditioned me, took a risk on my inexperience as an actress, and he gave me the part. Brenda Cochran in one of the biggest hits in London's West End. You know, she came and she could sing the song Standing on Her Head. There's no issue about that. Probably the best I've heard them sing. But Mama Morton is quite a feisty, tough character. Um, but it has to have a, a level of sensitivity about it too, you know. Uh, but she rose to the challenge, and it was actually very rewarding to work with someone who's not necessarily just come out of Rada, but has a great instinct and a good quality, you know, that you can draw on. So, yeah, it's great. I had to go and see the show because I didn't know whether I wanted to do it or not. I didn't know whether I wanted to commit to six months, eight shows a week. But when I saw the actual show, I adored it. The music, the, the cast is fabulous. And I had a very happy time. But my personal life was up in the air because my father had been diagnosed with cancer and died before I finished in Chicago. Which was horrendous. very poignant coming into the Kings because the last time that Joe actually heard me sing was in the Kings. Cochrane sings Sinatra in the stalls about four or five rows back. So it's very, very special for me. I realised that these songs and the singing that I was surrounded by were my training, my own personal conservatoire. I learned to entertain by singing. But the big question for me was, what moved people? 
I mean, they'd been used to all the traditional folk songs like... Don't ask me A mountain of questions Hey, when a assembly The one answer To know If you look inside the window, you'll see the tea cakes and the caramel wafers. This is evil for me. I can't even touch all this. Much as I'd like to, I can't go there. So I'm going to hurriedly, I'm off. Bye. If I had it to do again, I wouldn't have gone into Opportunity Notes. And so I just got, you know, get over it, get over myself and get on with it. You know, I'm very blessed. I, you know, I have a, a wonderful career. I'm recording now. Uh, I plan more concerts. It's uh, a woman in her 40s is a woman at a wonderful age, I think. I think it's because when she sings those fantastic, you know, ballads that she does, what, what it does is touch that part in everybody. Everybody who's sitting in the audience feels she's singing to them because the emotion in her voice can convey that. You can't learn that or you can't manufacture it. You know, I think it's got to be there. Oh, the angst, the pain, the torture. I'm surprised that she's not more commercially successful in a national and international way than she is. Um, and it's been the subject of many long debates in bar rooms all over Britain. One of the biggest gifts in my life is the realisation that life isn't about money and life isn't about fame and status and power. Life is about the love you have in your life. The, the feeling that when somebody you love walks in the room, it lights up. That's more important than anything else.